Hello and welcome back to our second part of our Build a Nation series for pre-game editor Football Manager 23. I am Dupa D and I hope you're all doing well. Today we will be making all those Londoners who was born in London now have a nation as London. We're going to do it in two ways to make it a bit more realistic. If they've got a full international app or more, we will put it as a second nation. And if they have no apps whatsoever, maybe under 21 one apps but that makes them more eligible to play for London we will then make them born bred and bleed London through and through so that we build a nice pool for our international team once we've done that we then need to make sure that we have a couple of divisions as I said we're going to do two for now and maybe a third and then we do for under 21 leagues so we're going to build two divisions in today's video and then we're going to put the teams that is required into those divisions so still not yet any nation rules that's going to be in our next part part three so remember if you want to stick around for it or see any updates on my socials are below so go over to them and follow i will put out some short videos i will put some images of just what i'm doing in general if you're wondering oh why is it taking so long for duper to produce another part well you'll probably see that on twitter i was at the chef wednesday game get in you owls we are in championship football next season amazing stuff but you know what after losing 4-0 to Peterborough I thought that was never gonna happen and I put my hands up I was one of them going yeah I don't think Darren Moore is the person to take us forward and then what a Darren Moore miracle he definitely deserves a chance next season and I'm gonna have his back until it all goes wrong because that's what we do in football anyway that's enough of me blabbing on let's get to it <laughs> Right, we are back in for pre-game editor for Football Manager 23. First thing that I want to do in today's video is just sort out for players. And then we're going to sort out for structure. I know that in the last video I said that I'll do it in the background. I just didn't have time. I thought, you know what, it's better just to not do things in the background and actually just record and show because that's what it's meant to be. It's like a let's play, right? Because if I miss stuff, you're going to have questions. And hopefully if I show everything, it's going to answer all those questions. First thing I was doing, I was just having a quick look before I started recording. I noticed that no matter what I selected on these options here, whether it be nation of birth, nation, city of birth, region of birth, I was always getting records for a uh, field 500. I'm thinking, wait a minute, that's maximizing something. That's not allowing anything else to come through. Because even if I don't select anything and apply filter, it still comes with 500. And obviously it's not just 500 players in the game. So if we go to settings and go to maximum records for search, as you can see, it's on 500. We don't want that because we're editing a lot of stuff and I want to see for maximum possible what's out there. We're going to choose unlimited. So now if we apply filter for everything and now it's going to bring up, it's at 473,000 records and it might take a little bit of time. So on my computer, that took a few minutes and it brought back actually 623,000 records and it only shows the first 100,000. Obviously, if we keep on going back and backwards and forwards of what we're doing and we want that, that's just going to take forever. So we need to make sure that we have a filter in and if we go to nation of birth, so nation of birth and region of birth bring back the same amount of players, which is great. That's what we want. Nation and city of birth just bring back a limited amount. So I'm going to filter nation of birth and I've put London flight filter so that has now brought back 14,480 players that are born in London and we want to make sure that they have a nation set to London they have nation of birth that we did already but the nation where they're going to be established to play for as you can see is not changed so I'm thinking to make this a bit more realistic what we will do is if players have already got full international caps which i've already put a column there for this we now go to oh, size all columns and we go international caps so pretty much anyone that has got a nation international cap doesn't matter what nation it is what we will do if we scroll all the way down i'm pretty sure actually what we could probably do is add an, another filter because this is what it's all about so if we we go international apps and is at least we go one by filter now that's 
260 players that was born in London have an international cap more than one. So what I'm going to do with these is control A, select them all. I'm going to mass edit them. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a second nation. For second nation add, it's not working for me uh, when I'm doing a mass edit. I was going to try just doing small bits by small bits, which I might go back to. Let me go to the bit where we're actually going to just change their nation, okay, where they've got no apps. So if we, and this is a much bigger number uh, than before, but because we're not adding and we're just selecting on a field, it might work. I think for adding on mass, mass edit, it's just not working. We will go back and just try a few, maybe 10. And if it still causes a issue that it's not coming up, and then I think we will just leave it and just have their region of birth as London, but their nation as whatever nation they're playing for uh, internationally. So I've selected 14,408 records. Now we must edit. Oh, fingers crossed. It might take a little while to load. I have pressed edit or it just does not like mass editing in here. The key to this is because it is a lot of data that we're trying to change here is patience. And obviously the player data is going to be for biggest bulk change. Once we get to clubs, it's going to be easier. So let's just try and power through this. Let's hope that this is going to let me change. And the whole point of me doing this is to allow the nation to be able to actually have a pool of players to choose internationally because London is now a nation. Right, we'll probably end up loading a little bit now. All right, there we go. We have now all the players or even staff, non-players, are now set as nation London. And as you can see, database changes. It is huge. So actually, before we carry on, let's just save that for a minute. And now let's go back to database. And look, there you go. You can see it all on there. They are all London. So who's the highest wage as London now? There you go. Nuni Muduki is now a London player. He's got no apps. Obviously, he was under 21 for England. But obviously, Allegiance has to now change. Same with Nikita, Joe Wilcock, Ramba Saka, Ryan Sessegnon, Richard Arnold. So these are all now London players. I think they will have quite a good little team. Quite a young team, actually. Take away non-players. Could be interesting to see how they're doing for the international world. Now, can I add second nations? Look, we've only got 262, even if we did, I don't know, 50 at a time or a page at a time, something like that. Let's try it, shall we? Edit, add, give it a minute, see what it does. Oh, that was quicker than I thought. There you go. London, eligible for nation. Because uh, it's second. Uh, born in nation. Relative born in nation. Not eligible. Has played for nation. It's going to be born in, in, in nation, isn't it? Woohoo. Yes. So those ones are done. Go back to database. So that's 28. I think what we're just going to do is just keep on adding in a second nation. So as you can see, they're all still got their nations. And I think this is the right thing to do to make it realistic. We don't want to affect what they are. I mean, I think I was getting excited, like Harry Kane's going to play for London. But actually, you can't do that. You can't take him away from the nation that he's been playing for all of his career and then just presume that he's going to, because of independence of London, you can't do that. I think this is more realistic. Should we try a little bit more? Should we try double win? Maybe that. Let's try. Edit so that we can fly through this. Add see how long it takes. It was quite quick on for last one. I have been pausing for recording coming back just so that you guys aren't waiting around. But I just want to give you an idea of what we're waiting for or how long it waits for. And there you go. Popped up. So not too bad when you're selecting that. But when I was selecting 278, it was just taking forever. And maybe, maybe I probably could have given it a couple more minutes. So we're doing London and Born in Nation. Now, I don't know if Born in Nation is just going to change them completely but in game that they might just not be eligible for England anymore. But they should be because then the main nation is going to be England. So that was 55 and that wasn't too bad. So again, back to database. Now I'm going to go finish this off and I will get back to you once I'm done. Right, so that is all done. So let's just summary on that. Any players that had international, full international apps, not under 21 apps, I have put in a second nation, born in nation, London. Any player that has no full international caps, but might have under 21 apps with a nation, we have moved them to nation of London. Example, 
Nonny Maduki from Chelsea. He is now Nation London. He is still based Nation London because we haven't done for club bit yet, which we are going to do now. As we always should do, save editor data. And what I'm going to do is because I know that clubs won't have too many to see, I'm just going to change my settings again, maximum records. And what we do is we'll put a thousand for a minute. If, it, if we do see that records to a thousand, and then we know that we might have to redo that. But for load time, we'll just be so much quicker. I mean, we do that and then boom, there you go. Thousand records found. So first thing that we need to do is we need to create where these leagues are going to go. So if we go to competitions and we are going to add our first league. Now, what do we call these London leagues? Do we go because you got for English Premier Division or English Premier League and then for English Championship? Do we just mirror that and go London Premier League, London Championship? Is that what they're called? Yeah, let's have a quick look. Pretty sure if we go by reputation. Okay, it's just called Premier League. We go into Premier League. That's what we've got. So it is literally Prem, P-R-M. So they don't they don't call it English. Hmm. Or do we just create a unique name? Obviously, it's in England. We can't copy it. I mean, we can have Premier League just in London. But I think we want to be a bit more unique. I mean, we could duplicate this competition, but we have no records. We, it's a new competition. So I think like this will just be blank. We have no history. Contract types, nothing in there. License kits. I mean, do we have to put that in there as license kits? Because each club will have their kits. I don't really want to add all that. I don't know if that would make a difference. Do we have to put that in? Colour badges. Again, this is all club stuff though, isn't it? I think it might just get added as you add for teams in. Because actually, looking at it, there's no way of me adding. Right, we've got the new competition. What should we call it? Should have done a Twitter poll. Right, it could be something that we... Oh, just go basic on. I really don't feel inspired. So what we're going to do, we're going to be boring and just call it Division 1. Oh, not that. Yeah, and we'll have Division 2. Short name. Oh, I hate that you can't copy and paste. Oh, yes, you can. It was just me being silly. And then what's a three letter name for that? Hmm. Just one. We just call it one. Does that look? That doesn't look good. Or do we just call it DV1? Something like that. Was it Division 1? Is DN better? Oh, DM1. Try and think. I mean, normally you put div, but you can't do a three letter name like that. That's what I'd want. It says three letter name. Ah, oh, for choices. Maybe I'm going to have a look at another competition. So, La Liga. I see if I put SD1. Is that Santa de Division 1? So we could put London LD1. London one. Ah, yes. Yes. Let's maybe do that. LD one. There we go. Like it. London. London division one. There we go. Ah, crap. Colours. Colours, colours, colours. Ah, okay. Premier League's all black. Interesting. Do we just go for nation or for cards? Do we go same as the nation? Do we? Is that what we want? I mean, we can give it a different trim, maybe. So if we go to nations, add condition, name, London. Get that in my database pool. Yeah. So if we go for these, 2161. Two one six one. Okay, and then what's red? One six one. Okay, one six one. Then zero zero. Perfect. And then I feel like we're gonna make this one have a gold trim. Then the other one silver trim. And if we put division three, a bronze trim. How about that? We also got to set up an under twenty one league, maybe. But phew, it's um constraint game for basics done, I guess. Uh, nation, London, continent. Oh, it's already done. There you go. Because of London. It's what we did in the last video. Wow, I never thought I'd have to uh, change some coding to get that available. Lowest official category allowance. That's where we need to go. Prem. Well, we got none. Okay. Again, if you don't know, copy. Parent competition. It doesn't have one. Reputation. And for the moment, reputation. 184. I mean, we've got some big teams in there. We're going to downgrade it and put it as 150. Because we've got Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal, all in these leagues. So we've got to have some sort of reputation for this league. Trophy type, National Championship 1. Sounds good to me. Use extra officials. No. So uses seated stadiums only. Use squad numbers. Use for inactive competitions only. Use team long names. We're keep all for pitch lengths as well. So what are they? We got 
105, 68, 105, 68. Okay, that's done. Regional divisions, have we got anything on this selected? Nope. Winter ball color, same as that. So that's 248, 240. Ah, oh, it's already there as default. Is it default that? Oh, that's slightly different. Why is that slightly different? 248, 240. Fair enough. 248, 240. Make it the same. Could be everything else. Why not? Anything. So dates, winter ball start dates. Uh, first 11th. And when does it finish? Oh, wrong way. 28th February. Brilliant. I keep on going the wrong way, don't I? Remote review video VAR. Yeah, remote view, review. Just copy anything on this section. Use gold line technology. Right. So teams. Let's add a team. So this is now going to take them away. Uh, did we add? Yeah, let's add them. And then we will swap about in for other division because it will create for gaps. So what we're going to do is we're going to put nation London and that's already sorted out by reputation, I guess. And it should. Let me just do that. There we go. That is our teams. Amazing. And license kits. Yeah, so it moves it all across. Yeah, makes sense. Colors, badges. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, looks good. Right, is there anything I need to be aware of here? No. Records. We haven't got any records. Session records. No. Player records. No. History. No. Contract types. No. That's it. So, Division 1 is set up. So, if we do Division 2 in the same manner, what I might actually do, we go back to database go to competitions and it's going to be 150 oh revamp that there you go division one and if we oh it's going to duplicate for teams as well isn't it will it duplicate teams should we try it we can always no it hasn't moved teams in it's just uh for detail oh okay amazing but what we do need to do go back to database and i want to bring championship just see if there's anything that we need to change what reputation has for championship got? How high is it? England, FA Cup, Scotland. There it is. Is that our new one? Yes. So we're just going to quickly change that to Division 2. Color change. We are going to go to a silver, remember? We go grey. And we can let this be quite light. Is that on it? Yeah. That day. Like it. So what's championship got here? Let's have a look. We got lowest official category. Oh, okay, that didn't come across. None. Reputation. Then 134. So let's put this one down to 110. Yeah. Use seated stadiums only. Okay, let's take that away because we do have some lower teams. And we will also remove VAR, I believe. Let's just keep on going. Parent competition. Okay, we don't have a parent competition. Reputation. Trophy type. Not set. National Championship 2, uh, not set, just put not set then. <clears throat> I don't get a trophy. Domestic Division, Competition Level 2, use squad numbers. I'm going to keep the pitches the same. Or do we have to have flexibility there? Is that minimum? 101, 64, 110, set 3. Just for lower divisions, right? Winter ball colour, I will keep that, keep that. I have a slight different, crazy. No VAR, get rid of VAR. And they use goal lines and do. Amazing. I don't know if that makes a difference. Was that in for premiership? I don't recall a date being there. No, there was no data. We will leave that blank. Amazing. All right, should we add teams? Because there's nothing else to do. Oh, actually, is there? Let's just have a quick look. Du -du -du -du. I think it's contract type. No, nothing in there. Media policies, nothing set. All right, let's add for teams. Then it's going to be for rest. And bingo, there we go. Two divisions set up. Okay, so it's been a while since I've loaded up a game in Football Manager 23. But we are going to just quickly have a look if we can see anything of our new London Nation setup. I don't think it's going to be playable. But I thought, let's see what stages we are at in-game to then get a better understanding of what we needed to do further in for editor. And to be fair, I don't think it's playable because we haven't done any rules. But don't quote me on that yet because I'm not, actually not too sure what actually makes a nation playable. Is it because it's set up with rules or is it live teams? It might be live now. Who knows? I doubt it. I have a feeling we need to set it up with rules and a structure for it to be active. Now, there might be a further step to take and that might be going back to our notepad plus plus and going to the resource archiver and changing something in there to allow London to be active or playable. But this is why we are running through it together and we are testing just so that you don't miss anything out. 
because if you've tried it before and you're like, oh yeah, I know, I know where Duper is getting at here, but I got stuck here. Well, you know what you need to do. Leave me a comment. So let's go start a new game and go to career. We're on for latest update. And as you can see, uh, build a nation part two, London part two is there and it's selected somehow else by the looks of it. Yes. Uh, oh yes. We were doing actual teams. Some viewer asked me if I could build up for them and I did, but I need to concentrate on this build a nation series because I keep on getting sidetracked away. It's because I want to help people, but I need to help myself first, I guess. Okay. So now that we selected that, let's go to advanced setup and see what's in here. So this is where we're going to choose our nations. If we clear that and add remove leagues. Now is London in here yet? To be fair, we haven't even chosen a flag yet. So it would be a nation without a flag. And looking at it, obviously we're in Europe. We don't have London. And I just realized we've moved for clubs, but we haven't actually moved for other teams out yet. See what it does, because that's a good point, because we've moved... How's it going to configure that? Unless it might crash because we haven't actually restructured for English League yet, have we? And again, as I've forgotten to do it, I will do that in the background. All right, let's just go use profile. We're in for Premier League. That's all we can do. Ooh, national teams have interest. Is London here? Oh, look, London. Ah, oh, look, they've got the Czech Republic flag. Of course, they have got a flag. Borough of Dragons. Oh, look at that. Yes, we need to. I don't know if I like it for blue and red like that, you know. Do we like it like that? Would I prefer it far way around blue and red? I mean, England should be white and red. See, they've got that. I like that white and blue. And then obviously for the red flag. Got our kit. I like our kit. Yeah, it kind of goes with the kit. Let's not be hold up bad detail. But yes, we do need to change that flag. Click to view London. There we go. Wembley National Stadium. World ranking 211th. Major, major clubs. Chelsea. Top players. We go senior squad. So this is london's international team at the moment it's pretty much the players that we were saying right wambasaka tanganga lamptey nelson gomez nikita brewster under 21s they've got under 21s active as well under 19s so this is nice that all this is working got wembley governing body years population ah we haven't done a population where's that where would that be held so one not an active nation Two, change flag. I have an idea for a design already. I think what I'm going to do is just for English flag with a red sword or the London crest in one of the corners. And that's it. Something like that. I'll design two of them and maybe I'll put it up on Twitter. Population. I have no idea how you do that, but we will have a look. Will it be in for rules? I don't see why it would be for it being for database. Maybe it's something that we just missed. But we've got major clubs. We've got top players competitions obviously i can't click on them but we do have division one division two there all division badges flags or something like that or logos should i say a few things so this was good to just have a look rival nations england scotland ireland northern ireland wales yes english spoken we was going to change that to london but london is not a language come on agreements none and we got wembley so wembley must be shared that's london that's a good point let's go to England and they've got Wembley as well so at the moment it's a shared national stadium so we need to change England's national stadium England okay I think that's it I don't think we need to go in the game because that's all we need to see for now so I've made a list not an active nation change flag population for division badges and logos and for England National Stadium. So that's a few things that we need to work on. That's a shorter league, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. They just promoted teams up. Yeah, look, Sunderland's there. So the games decided to move the teams. Ah, I didn't do all of the leagues, did I? Could have checked further down. So Sunderland got promoted, Sheffield and I got promoted, Norwich, West Brom. Must do what I do. It's just based on reputation, maybe. Yeah. So that'd be your new Premier Division without any London teams. Cool, I like it. Whew. Another video with quite a lot of information, not as much as part one. Part one was all about planning and just kind of finding our feet of what we need to do and start start to implement. You know, when you start something, it feels very slow. Now we've started it. it 
it feels much quicker and hopefully these videos will come out more quicker as well i'm planning once a week and then obviously i'll do some breakdowns of these videos just in case you're searching for particular areas i'm just trying to think about for viewers that they might already been doing something like this and they're just like oh google I need, I don't know, uh, add in a continent. That was my last video I put out there. Add in a continent to a nation. And obviously we had to use Resource Archiver and the Notepad++ and change true, false, false, true, whatever way it was, I can't remember now. But anyway, I will be doing things like that and hopefully I can produce more content quicker and faster. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't get it. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. I have no wooden desk. It's plastic, uh, PVC. It's one of those uh, picnic tables. Um, saving money. Saving money. You've got to when you've got kids, right? Yeah, so in this video, we literally are getting there. We are getting there. As you see from the game, it's exciting to see. Yeah, fair enough. It's not full. And you know what? I, I want to keep on getting into a game every time i do something i will end the video of showing you the progress and i think that's a good way of showing it yes we've got london nation but it's got a check flag and things like that we've made the list it's building that's why it's not here you go here's a built nation it's build a nation series so on that note if you are enjoying the series so far and you like this video you know what you need to do and if you want to continue watching as they come out again you know what you need to do hit that subscribe button in. it's much appreciated it helps this channel to grow and maybe maybe one time one day it could become a full-time thing for me who knows i do love making videos i do love doing for editing i do love doing for pre-game editor stuff i love playing the game obviously we all love playing the game that's why you're watching these videos but the most important thing i like doing is helping you so help me like it subscribe and i'll catch you on for the next one